Hi guys. Welcome back to Two Girls One Bong. The podcast that's better if you're stoned and I will just sign a treaty creating peace against all worlds if you're not. Um <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joya. If you're new here, welcome. Um, we're two girls, one bong, and we've made a career making stoner content for nearly a decade. What? If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I'm sorry for my friend. I forgot we had a new <laughs> intro. My God, <laughs> so unprofessional. Let's dive on in. Let's dive on in. You already yeah, took right. a bong rip just before this started, but. I think we should do another. I think so too. I, I think so too. I think that that's in my my cards for today. Ooh, I love that for you. Yeah. I love cards. Me too. Cards are fun. What's your favorite card game? Blackjack. Mm, gambler. Okay. <laughs> What's yours? I love Gold a good old fashioned game of war. Oh, how do you play war? I forget. It's just the higher card wins. And there's oh. no organization. It's just a game of luck. Oh, okay. You just go flip, flip. And, and yeah, then whoever I, and wins, the, wins. Yeah. And I also really like gin. Gin rummy. I don't... I think that's what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called gin. Okay. Fun game. Yep. Strategy there. Strategy. Mm. Nice. Luck and strategy. Ah, as, as many card games entail. There's always an element of luck in card games. Yeah. It's how, how it's shuffled. Right. All right, cheers. Cheers, bitch. Ooh, that was a big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, is there anything new happening in your life currently? Um, I would say this is um a very this would be a very very specific niche of people but anybody who lives in austin or near austin um mm -hmm. i'm putting on a 420 event Ooh. in austin uh, at um salvation pizza and there's free yes. edibles free Can edibles drinks some, oh, and you said food. free edibles yeah. Uh huh. I love those. Uh -huh. those, are my, those are my favorite kind of edibles right they're the best mm -hmm. ones so that would be my only thing period love that yeah. i don't i don't have much either uh just slowly watching the world fall apart this morning yeah it's more rain in california it's raining um i basically live in seattle now so that's cool that i'm paying dude california so for this i know yeah but california as a landscape has been begging for that rain for our I know, entire lives the thing is though the the ground is getting the rain but it's not even prepped for the rain it's too dehydrated all the way through that so it's not dry. even absorbing it that's why we're yeah. having all of these floods and shit mm -hmm. it's just like oh thanks rain um you're a little late <laughs> this pussy is dry so yeah. everything's yeah. just rolling off kind oh, of yeah. like her vagina kind of like your vagina um. <laughs> <laughs> yes i still have green <laughs> i don't want it um i have her bong sitting next to my desk and i also oh, got cute. yours yesterday which is funny because i totally yeah i messaged you yesterday to be like i'm waiting for mine and it literally came like in and the, it was like um, it arrived today yeah it was like in the afternoon that i got it yeah so i have good, both good, of those good. sitting waiting to be opened yeah. For anyone who missed it, my bongs are. Well, I don't have my bowl piece in there right now. I have a donut. Um, because I was trying to keep my other bowl piece clean. <laughs> so, because I have two bongs like this, but only one bowl piece. I don't know what happened to my other bowl piece. I lost it. Mm. Um, so I've been using a different one in this bong. But my bongs are released, and it comes with a Mac Dizzle bowl piece. And it's right cute here. as fuck. It's like this. It's like that. It's so cute. And it also has your handwriting on it. Yeah, my little Which signature. absolutely, yeah, so fucking cute. I didn't know yeah. that that was on there. So that was like, yeah, and you so know what? cute. Special discount. 2G1B will save you 20%. How's that? <gasps> How's that? 20%? Why not? Why not? Oh. Yeah, that's like, oh, going to be like a. That's like $30, $40 off. It's not a very good Dude, yeah. That's a fucking good discount. You know what I mean? Good. Really Empire, EmpireSmokes.com? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Empire Smokes. We'll have it in the pinned comment of this video. Yeah. Sweet. Yay. <laughs> I can't wait to open mine up and rip her. Rip oh, her I'm shreds. excited for you to do yeah. that. But in the meantime, let's let's dive on in. I actually kind of want to take another bong rip. I didn't put any wax on top. That's probably why I want it. You're crazy. Um, but uh, just just for starters, did you see that clip of the um, – I know you did because we follow the same news page. But that clip of – his name's like Tim Burchett or something. He's a congressman. In... Yeah. I didn't watch it. I, I, I okay, read well, let me, the – Let me summarize uh, okay. what he said. Well, I'm sure since you read the synopsis, you basically already know. But more or less, so for those of you who don't know, um, right. there was, again, another shooting. Uh, this one was in Tennessee, right? Yeah. Okay. Outside Nashville or in Nashville. Mm-hmm. Uh, this wasn't. This one was in Tennessee. Uh, it was a, a a student who had used to go to the school, went back and killed three students and three administrators. Um, all of the students were nine years old, which is just insane. Uh, but basically, the congressman who was in charge of that district, he um, was being interviewed, and they were like, "So, do you feel like there's anything Congress can do?" to fix this you know like what and he said at this point we can't do anything we we're not going to be able to do anything we're just going to mess it up we need to change people's hearts that's what he said he said we need to change people's hearts first of all that's mm, pretty sure that's not why people voted you into office i don't fucking know i don't know anything about tennessee but i'm pretty sure they weren't there for you to be a therapist to millions of americans i think they put you there to put laws to protect lives. To write laws, to vote for laws, to use your position, to move legislation forward to protect Anyways, Americans. So something I – so at this point, I'm like, let's do anything because we've done nothing thus far. From 1994 to 2004, there was an assault rifle ban mm-hmm. and – Shootings were down, believe it or not. I know it's crazy. People like like to pretend like it didn't change anything for those 10 years, but it definitely did. And for one reason or another, the Democrats didn't push for it to be renewed. There was some clause in it that after 10 years, um, they would revisit it to see if they wanted to keep doing it. And after 10 years, they didn't. This was when Bush was president. But for one reason or another, uh, yeah, the politicians on the Democrat side failed us again to kind of push that forward because if that was still – anyways, I'm not – trying to be like oh ban this ban that i don't really know the schematics of everything however i do did read one thing that was like a ban on large magazines Mm -hmm. which would mean that you can only shoot you can have an assault rifle but you can only shoot 10 bullets at a time and then at that point you'd have to reload Mm -hmm. um and it's it's sick that they're framing it this way but they're like look that gives people time to run in between a reload that that gives people time to run and that's like it makes me sick that that's the point where we're at we're like well the shootings are gonna happen we're gonna keep giving them the assault rifles okay it's not no 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 no. we're not gonna do that but what if what if we gave them less bullets they might have more time to run uh after you know and like that's where we're at in the conversation and i'm like fine do something do yeah. Something, bro. Like anything. Like if that is the one concession that she'll give me, I will fucking take it. Like, please. And let's see improvements happen from that and be like, oh, cool. The because you know what's crazy? Is these politicians feel like they can't they act one way. So like when it comes to like trans people or drag shows or abortion, they really believe in putting legislation in banning things. All right. They really mm-hmm. feel like banning things works when it comes to abortion and drag queens and trans mm-hmm. people they are wholeheartedly for putting laws in place to ban things just not guns and and they believe that banning mm-hmm. things works too that's what's crazy because why would you be putting this legislation if you didn't believe that banning would curb that activity right right so so why does it not work for guns i'm confused what's different between abortions guns drag queen like what's the difference between banning those things because yeah. if you want to play that game, like, oh, criminals are going to get guns, women are going to get abortions. 
Right. So your your thing doesn't work then is what you're saying. Either it works or it doesn't. And you need to decide. You can't just pick or choose when banning works. That just makes me so angry. Like, yeah. I mean, it's, that's it's like, disgusting. yeah, it really is. It's like, yeah, it's just another example of like the like. Hypocrisy. Yeah, exactly. Hypocrisy. And like also like incompetence. Like you are so fucking stupid that your your attention is focused on wait you know what you posted something the other day i saved it i'm gonna read it out loud you posted something on your story that was just like a okay say oh, it was the, the trans people the yeah, population say that they make up Go right ahead. say you're in a room with 400 people 36 don't have health insurance 48 live in poverty all right that's more 85 than 10% are illiterate 90 have untreated mental illnesses and every day at least one person is shot but two are trans so you decide ruining their lives is a priority (laughs) no that's it's the most act read that again read that again say you're in a room with 400 people 36 don't have health insurance 48 live in poverty 85 are illiterate 90 have untreated mental illnesses and every day at least one person is shot but two are trans so you decide ruining their lives is a priority that is exactly what's happening they make up like literally like point point something of the population it is such a 400 then that is a 0.25 percent i think literally so point something two, like that point two not even half a point point no no no. i'm sorry it's point zero zero five you're lying i just did two divided by 400 and oh that's point zero zero five. it's like a ah uh, <laughs> It's insane. It's crazy. Social media has people's panties in a bunch because because they can now see trans people. They feel like they're everywhere. And just fuck. Like I can't I don't even know the last time I saw a trans people trans person walking around. Maybe they maybe obviously there's people who get surgeries and these kind of things, but I don't even remember the last time I saw a stranger who was trans. And also like in like people LA. Yeah, I mean, trans people don't, like, alarm you or I. It's not something that we would be, like... No, well, like, actually, I did... I was out with Alicia know. once. Yeah, I was out with Alicia once, and we met this older, older guy at the bar, and he was, like, sweet. And so we were, like, chatting it up with him. Um, And, it tur- and at the end of the night, he came out, and he told us that he was trans, and we were just wow. like, oh, my God. I would never have even known that. And, like, but yeah. thank you so much for feeling safe to you know totally to tell, to tell us, us you know what i mean us, yeah yeah so i thought that was really cool but on that same note like these people aren't menaces in society he was like they're just so fucking fucking regular fucking people men i you, the fact that i told her that i was entertaining a conversation with an old man probably set alarms off in her head because i would never fucking do that because old men in general are fucking gross and creepy yeah all right let me totally. be very fucking especially at a bar where where drinks are being served okay yeah, i i pretend that old men at bars don't exist exactly and so when the, he first started chatting with us i was like why is he talking to us but then he was really really nice he bought us a round yeah. of drinks he was like complimenting alicia and so i was like you better tell how tell how pretty my friend is you better yeah <laughs> but um it was just very very i felt safe yeah i did not feel like i was in danger with this person around which is not how I feel when most men hit on me. I usually feel yeah. very unsafe in that in that scenario. And that's not men's it is men's fault. It's not like that man's fault though. You know, right. it's not your right. fault that I feel scared for my life when you hit on me. It's because I've been physically attacked by men before in my life. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know? I definitely um I yeah, there's there are levels to the discomfort because my first reaction when a man talks to me is Ew. Ew. Get away from Ew. me. You're annoying. Ew. I don't want to be anywhere near you. You, you smell. Really You're gross. Uh, 
I, I don't remember, like you. I remember when I was single, um, we were out yeah. somewhere and this guy was chatting with me and I had no issue with it. I was like chatting back with him and you were just disgusted. Yeah. And I think you just weren't thinking of the the, the mindset of oh, oh, that, you, single. that you were. Yeah, that you were she available. Was like, yeah. we're, we're gross, right? This is gross. And she like scared him away. <laughs> not me cock blocking you. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that? It was at a party at the mansion. Oh. <laughs> it seems like that's not a place that I would be like mean to men, I don't think. Like I feel like it's I would just be some nice. random person. It wasn't like anyone in the industry that we knew. Oh, okay. And I think he called one of us sweetheart. I think he called me sweetheart and that that oh, really ticked me off. That's immediately. That's yeah. don't fuck. <laughs> what do I look like a fucking 4-year-old to you? That's what I call small children when I see them out in public. Like <laughs> if you look like yeah. a fucking child. You know? <laughs> saw i saw the switch go off in your head when he said i said oh (laughs) man (laughs) oh yeah Uh, that was like three four years ago it was a long time ago i still remember it though to this day to this day yeah (laughs) i'm glad you did because imagine where i'd be yeah who knows what who knows what i'm way happier now i'm sure yeah i'm sure i'm sure yeah (laughs) <laughs> um yeah it's i'm just here to i'm just here to protect you with my mean faces and bad vibes so you're welcome <laughs> i really appreciate that thank you yeah. so much i was just gonna say yeah to go back to our current event um and how stupid people are i did just see a um like it was on moshe's story they're talking about somebody was like, I don't understand like the logistics. Like, if we were to ban guns, like, what about mm-hmm. all the other ones that are like out there in you know in circulation? Like, what so would, what would happen there? And did you read kind of his response on what on what would happen? Yeah, I did. So he said that um, basically, like, there is we they would have to stay out there, but the government yeah. would have to give incentives, financial incentives, mm-hmm. to get them off the street. Yeah, um, but then he and then also it for storage laws and things like that too. Yeah, storage is a huge thing, but also because like, if you really like- think about it, the people who are perpetuating these mass shootings are young, mm-hmm. usually yeah. male, eighteen um, to twenty-five, literally eighteen to twenty-five years old, and those people don't really have ARs right now. They're going out and buying those guns, and then very quickly after that, they're going. That that is a pattern that we're seeing time and time again it's not people who have had these guns for six years seven years it sometimes years. is it sometimes, sometimes is but- sometimes somebody flips and they go sometimes but more often i would say more than half the time these people are going out buying these guns and if we can cut half of these shootings out why wouldn't you want to stop more people from doing it i understand like somebody I else message yeah somebody else messaged in that the the atf i believe they have like special classifications for certain weapons like if you want to get a certain type of weapon you have to go through like this intense vetting process you're on a registry you're on a like small list of people and the atf knows that you have these firearms and that you're allowed to Mm -hmm. um why aren't we doing that for assault rifles like i just don't understand why people feel like their rights are being taken away if it's a little bit more inconvenient Right. And I, I would say that I know why people don't want that national registry. Um, and it's because the people that are gun owners, the they don't want the like, government to know rights. that they have them. Exactly. But their, their, their argument is that one day when the government decides that we're not allowed to have the guns anymore, they're going to know exactly where to find them. And Girl, gonna, you see they, that they're... They, they think it's going to become Nazi Germany and no, the Gestapo it. is going to come and fucking take their guns. Like, and here's the thing. With that gun, you're not going to stop them from taking that gun. If right, you good like, luck. Dig in like a little, good luck. Literally, you dig in like a little tick into your house with your one, your couple ARs and your limited artillery, they have an army. Well, no, to be fair, like some of these people do have like, you know, like they're it. crazy. Some, they uh, do have like insane have, numbers of guns. What I'm saying is, are they going to kill a tank? No. No, they're not. Do they have tanks? Yeah. No, they don't. Dude, I did actually just – okay, I just saw something on – oh, I don't remember where it was, but basically like some fucking crazy guy, he spent years 
building Building out a um he basically took like a forklift or a tractor of some sort and fucking built that shit out for years to be a tank like he made these like protective things around the shit you know two feet thick so it was like there was no penetrating this and he went on like a rampage in i think it was like ohio literally granby colorado i was just there in january this guy fucking created a tank like he built out his own tank and he went on a bulldozer rampage because he was pissed about some shit that the local government was doing yeah there's i mean even so like you can sure you can protect yourself uh yeah. from some you can protect yourself what else, what well, that's what the thing what are you gonna do even like, if you and all of your buddies get together let's pretend like they have the wherewithal to really be organized and like yeah. create a, uh, an offensive, uh, uh, you know, a combat yeah. offensive, and they like, you know, it's civil war. Civil war. I just <sighs> nukes. Yeah, I mean, if the U.S. You government can, really wanted to, you want, and like, and for everything that you put up, you're like AR. They're like, okay, we raise you tanks. You're like, okay, yeah. we have a tank. They're like, okay, we raise you nukes. What are you gonna right. do? Like, literally, what are you gonna do? But anyways, I think it's a trivial and fruitless and silly and delusional belief to think that you can keep your guns away from the u.s government whether they know you have them or not if they want them back they'll get them yeah they'll if you really don't think that they can become corrupt and disgusting like nazi germany believe that they can and they'll just go through every single house tear it apart and look for shit like please yeah it's, it's just so silly to me yeah, it's so I silly know. to me. Well, and have you? Did you watch The Last of Us or no? I'm on like the last couple episodes. Okay, cool. So you met um, the couple Frank, and yes. they were like they were like episode two. Yeah, but yeah. He's like the doomsday prepper. Yeah, when he's like down. Uh oh, can you hear me? You're good. I can oh, hear God, you. I yeah, when I he's like up. serious and he's like waiting for them to all go through his house. He's like, <laughs> yeah, dude. And I don't remember what he says. Like he's like not today, Satan or something like that. But mm-hmm. he's like totally. He's down there in his fucking doomsday like press. See, guys like that who really go to that trouble are really just trying. They're out to save themselves. They're not out to overthrow the government or like keep their guns away. Like they just, you know, they just want to live alone. They just want to be yeah left alone, right? Yeah, you know, and that's yeah. fine with me. Hoard your guns, create your 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 spy things. I don't care. Yeah. Just. You know, I think you should be okay should be with. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I feel you like you should be allowed to have your guns. No, I feel like you should be okay with the vetting process to get those guns. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's well, like get over there's it. Literally, there's children <laughs> dying. That's the number one cause of death for kids in America. Did you know that? Over cars yeah. and anything else, gun yeah, violence over, is over, the number yep. one death. Is the number one killer of children more than cancer? More than just freak accidents, more than car accidents. Yeah. Guns are killing kids in America more than almost more than any other country in the world. Uh, like the westernized like power countries like the UK, you know, like all these other like even like China and Russia. Like this is a uniquely American thing. And you know what else is uniquely American? Our gun laws. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What's very universal out there is stricter gun laws. So sure, stabbings happen. Do you know how how many people? Imagine I walk into a room with a knife. I I stab two people before I'm overpowered. Right? Those mm-hmm. two people might live. All probably, right? probably Me, will. I walk, in, I walk into a room with an assault rifle and I go. Grr! Even if it's only ten rounds, I hit five people. Mm-hmm. And you're not taking me down. And also that you know what my issue with the whole like oh um just only ten rounds it'll make them reload like I would if I if I was trying to be a, a person perpetuating this violence I would just get multiple guns I would just have like two or three yeah. guns you know what I mean like what do you mean oh yeah. that one's out boom and that's I mean out. the magazine stuff like dude that's like multiple states have implemented that like that's it's just it's not that you can still get them. If you really want them, you just buy them in the fucking Well, that's what the guy market. was saying. The guy was saying, like, you can print guns off the internet now. You know, you're yeah. not going to. I'm like, but, but no, it's no, no. True. We're not agreeing. We're, you can, but like that costs a lot of money for a 3D printer. Costs a lot of money to print that, though. It's not just, it's, 
a loophole around registering for something, but it's not something that the average person can afford to do. That is a lot of money to get those resources to do that. Yeah, no, for sure. And I'm not saying I don't think that organization. I think that that those magazines should be outlawed literally everywhere. And that's like the stupidest fucking. But yeah, the, the fact is like there are some states where it's illegal and then there are some where it's still legal and it's like why i don't understand why we have any war machines available to civilians at all that's insane that's because when the only yeah like the only reason to use a long gun like that would be to like go hunting and you don't need you don't need 10 bullets to fucking kill something if you eat it if you're literally just unloading in the woods going you're bad you're bad at the sport okay I need you to know that hunters yeah. are like, oh, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you know, they know like exactly maybe one or two to shoot the animal. Like they don't you want to shoot it more than a, once. You don't hunt with an AR. You don't hunt animals. With no, an you AR. don't. That is an you inefficient don't. way to, to hunt animals. Uh, very good at killing people, though. Groups well, of it's them. Good, it's good at killing something that is like, like Grouped together. Yes, or clo- a little closer. Like yeah. there's like a hunting rifle. You can probably shoot like farther away um yeah um i'm really just feeling like our like because it's just so difficult to understand how people how why and how are your priorities where they are but also it's like that's and we all know it's because of money Money. yeah no, yeah, because the um the that Congress gu- man or the guy that who was in Congress uh-huh. who like said all that stuff, absolutely in the NRA's pocket. The NRA has what's so the, much what's money. What's the guy's name? Um, Tim Bursch Burchett, B U R C H E T T E, I, I think. It. But there's a photo of him and his family, and they all have long rifles in the photo. Oh, that, Kids that too. Fucking guy. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Kids too. I saw it. Like, what a weird cultural phenomenon for you to just be like putting guns in your children's hand like i just i never even thought about owning a gun when i was a kid i wasn't like oh that's just what i want to be able to shoot things like what a weird powerful thing to put in a child's hand Uh like it's just strange to me that's just very strange detached behavior like my parents were buying me like furbies and a scooter when i was 10 not an ar-15 mm-hmm i had no interest in guns my brother had no interest in guns maybe like a little nerf Yeah, guns were not a thing in my house either. We never had them. I never learned about them. Never. I own a gun now. Yeah, for self protection. Yeah, I I was. I was a single woman living alone. You should have, um, even if you're not somebody. If you, unless you have like a reason that you shouldn't have that gun, a specific, deliberate like reason because you may hurt yourself or hurt somebody else. Mm -hmm. Everyone should have a firearm in their house for home protection because people are fucking crazy. Absolutely. Some sort of, you should have a fucking bat or you should have like something, some form of protection that you feel comfortable using if an intruder is there. Everybody should have some sort of home protection. You know what? Whatever that may be. I have these hilarious fantasies in my head. Of someone coming in? Someone comes into my house and I'm just, I just, I wait, I hear them because of the dogs and I'm like, oh, fuck. And I just turn on my nightstand. outside because of. No, no, no. No, yeah, right. They just leave. But like, no. But like, they they somehow make it past the dog easily because uh, if you're going to bring. They bring treats. My my dogs are not going to attack you. They're going to bark. Don't tell people that. (laughs) Well, that's the thing. I think people mistake dogs. Dogs are not necessarily protection tools they can protect you that's some dogs that's not are, yeah some dogs you can train them to protect you and some dogs will inherently protect people my dogs are little baby bitches just like me and that's okay it's okay to be a little baby bitch you are um, not a little baby bitch i am now i won't fight anymore <laughs> maybe i will will i fight i don't think i don't think that you would get into a physical altercation with a like stranger for no reason but I think I don't think you're a little baby bitch. Okay. Well, anyways, my dogs are little baby bitches, and they um they definitely I uh, Cheech is a is a is a thug, bro. He'll bite. Yeah. Cheech will bite. No one else though. Um, That's his Chihuahua. That's his yeah, Chihuahua, Chihuahua in there. Just mean Chihuahua in them. But it's but that's what I look at my dogs as an alarm system. Yeah, a very very fucking good alarm system. That's actually <laughs> what um 
Frankie being half Shih Tzu. Shih Tzus wear bred in Thailand, I think, as alert dogs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's where they come from. That's like their freaking. And I'm pretty that sure was also the primary purpose for hum- um when they were uh like when when the humans first started taking wolves to use and dogs like, or yeah yeah wolves, started, right. basically they started to make the domesticate the animal. They started to domesticate mm-hmm. them. Um, they used them as an alarm system when they were sleeping. So they would be sleeping and the dogs would be there to al- alert people of danger approaching. Because obviously the dog's not going to protect you from a fucking whatever, a, be- a right. beast I in mean, the wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like bears. So that's so funny. Fantasy, right? Here's my fantasy. So they walk yeah. past my dogs because they're just going to bark. But I, you know, I wake up, I turn on my nightstand and I'm just sitting there like this with my gun. Yeah. And I say, I'm just ready to go. So the safety's off, and one's in the chamber. You better <laughs> no, no, no. get out of here. You're not. You're not like this. You're not like this. You're oh, like, like this. No, no, no. I'm actually you're pointing I'm gonna, it. You're pointing it. I'm gonna give you the real fantasy of how I am. It's gonna be hard because, like, I don't. I'm gonna be laying though, and it's gonna be like. So. Okay. Yeah. Is that face included? Got it. Yes. It'll be sexy. They'll be like yeah. really confused. They'll be like, wow, do I want to rob her or do I yeah. want to assault her? They, they'd I be like, no. Did I just walk into a porn shoe? Is this, I, is this my fantasy? Yeah. I agree. I don't know if my dogs would. I never. I would l- like love to find out without actually finding out like if my dogs would protect me. I feel like there's no way that Cash wouldn't protect me. And Remy is ready to go. Like, so I just feel like they would. But also, yeah, if anybody knew that I had dogs in here, like, I feel like people totally just, you just, they give up, bring treats. No, no, I feel like a lot of criminals are turned off by dogs. I feel like dogs complicate in a very easy situation. Yeah, um, definitely. You know, so yeah, you're, uh, just avoid I, this house. I would encourage. Yeah, exactly. They're like this. This house doesn't have dogs. Let's go rob right. them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. I wonder if people ever put up like "beware of dog" signs when they don't really have a dog. They probably do. Someone's done that somewhere. Girl, I have my "beware of dog" signs. Um, and it's because I want people to fear them. I I know my dogs mm-hmm. aren't actually scary, but I want them to feel scared. My my signs, they literally say "not responsible for injury or death." Oh. Not responsible. My dog rips your throat out. Pussy. If you come into my backyard and you don't leave alive, it's not my problem. The sign was there. <laughs> not the fucking New York accent. It's something I don't know where it's coming from, but it's deep. It's happening. Yeah. It's happening. I do it all the time now. Anytime I'm like trying to put emphasis on something. Yeah. 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 I do it with Rajul too. It's it's bizarre. It's not funny for him because he like doesn't live that or is not from that far away from New York. Like I feel like he would know the New York accent like relatively well, kind of. Yeah, yeah. He, I'm not very good at it. He said, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there is a lady that does. Um, she does like this Philly mom character oh, on wow. TikTok, and I don't know anyone from Philadelphia. Like, and yeah, Rajul do. doesn't have an accent. Yeah, but he doesn't yeah. have an accent. He does a little bit when he says certain words. Like when he says water, he goes water. 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 Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but there is, yeah, this lady that does a really funny, like, Philadelphia mom character. And oh, no, I, he's, he's, he'll imitate his friends who are still in Philly, and it cracks me up. Okay. They always, yeah. they always say, dickhead. What do they say? <laughs> dickhead. There's, like, dickhead. dickhead their favorite. Okay. Yeah. Dickhead. Like, dickhead. Um, the, the lady, the TikTok lady says, and and use and use something something use, and 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 I says and use like I know I uh, okay like she's parts like, of like Caucasian Philly mom she's Caucasian Philly yeah 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 okay okay I, was, I mean I'm, also, I'm like listening and I'm like trying to listen for like mom Rajul's mom's voice and I'm like that's not what she sounds like at all yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> she's Caucasian definitely got it, got it, got it, got it. um yeah so then does Rajul use the word John. No, his sister uses it a lot, though. Okay. Yeah, I hear her use it all the time. His sister definitely has more of a Philly accent than he does. I think he spent, like, the last, like, 
six to eight years in California. So oh yeah, that'll you know? make it that'll make it go away. Especially when you're hanging out with like somebody yeah. who's like that. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think about them banning TikTok? I think that, well, and I, this could be, this is regurgitated information, but what I read is that Meta and Google <laughs> are lobbying like a motherfucker against TikTok. And um, I remember, I remember years ago before TikTok came out thinking, who the fuck is going to, you know, compete um, with these guys? Who is going to overtake Instagram? Who is going to overtake mm-hmm. Facebook? Like, who's going to overtake YouTube? Please. Like, nobody, nobody, who really is going to come up with an idea that could p- even come and have the close- money and the support right. and everything, you know And what then I mean? here comes fucking Musical.ly. Musical.ly. AKA TikTok. <laughs> yeah. And just fucking took the world. Like, here's the thing. Like, I understand, like, yes, like, China is a national security threat. The Chinese Communist Party is is a threat to our national security. Like we might go to war with China at some point in the next five or ten years. <laughs> so that is a little scary. So I do have these feelings of like, I understand why people, you know, why there might be a concern there. But did you watch like the fucking I dude, somebody, this guy posted a TikTok that was like it was like the ugh, Congress people talking to the yes, TikTok. Yes, yes. Did you see it? I reposted something on on TikTok because he was like, "So if, so TikTok is my Wi-Fi. So if I <laughs> plug my phone into the Wi-Fi, now my phone is TikTok." And he's like, <laughs> "I make spaghetti for dinner now. TikTok has spaghetti for dinner. Like just stupid fucking like. What are you <laughs> talking about?" It was really embarrassing to see how technologically illiterate a lot of that staff is. Well, and um, that's what we fucking get for like literally. <laughs> why do we not have a maximum people. age limit for fucking Congress? Like, why are all these fucking boomers talking about a an like? I bet they yeah. I don't even understand how that shit works. How the fuck are those old people who barely know how to send an email or print something out? Like, how do they? How are they able to have these conversations? Like. Like, granted, yeah. there are some very technologically literate elderly people, all right? Yeah. Few. Those people are not in Congress. No, they're not. Clearly. <laughs> not. <laughs> they're like, clearly. They're, really they're working strong. in the tech field, okay? Yeah. They're rich. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're, they're Bill Gates. Like, that's... Like, holy shit. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not trying to disparage against old people and say that they can't no technology i am trying to disparage against old people and say that they shouldn't be making rules for the young people that's that's lame once i'm a certain age i shouldn't be making rules for people i'm okay with that like once i'm a certain age i need to understand that the way i feel is probably not i might even agree with the the children i might agree with the kids but they they should have someone who looks and is their age reaffirming that i mean i think I i think that they're also like there is a wisdom that comes with life experience and so i can respect you know people that are in their 50s and 60s i'd say you know working in government that would be okay with me 70s 80s done get Get out out. get out you are get out what's the special retirement age what's the 65 yeah I mean, get out. well, yeah, you can get yeah. At sixty five <laughs> is when you start getting social security. I okay, and that's what I'm saying. So you can still work, but you don't get to make the rules anymore. Right. You oh know? wow, they they raised it. It's full retirement age is sixty six if you were born between blah 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 blah. For anyone born nineteen sixty or later, it's sixty seven. So, um, which is also fair. I mean, our age, our, our, what's that word? Um, lifespan, ex- life, expectancy. life expectancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is really high. But, um, I like, I understand people's like, I, 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 I do understand the want to explore and just make sure that everything is safe on TikTok. Yes. Um, because also there is like, you know, the I Chinese. Think there is some validity to the concerns that they have yeah and like the chinese have been you know technologically at the you know at the 
at the the forefront of technology mm-hmm. for years. Like it was, yeah. you know, us and and China and China has been fucking whooping our asses like that in that respect. So it's like in my head, I'm like, what could they possibly be doing with like, you know, billions of fucking TikTok videos? Like of there's there's a <laughs> lot of content on there. There's a lot of stupid fucking content. But I'm like, well, in my head, what could they be doing with that? But who more knows so what they could be doing with that? The validity that I see is the concerns that they can kind of weaponize videos in a way to be propaganda for people to watch because it is very easy to start watching one thing on tiktok and get recommended a bunch of videos similar to that right and cultural indoctrination is like one of those things that takes a while but if you're on something like tiktok it could happen quickly my TikTok is trying to make me transphobic. I can actively see it feeding me this weird content, okay? Because really? obviously trans ally, love trans women. Um, but they fed me a video a long, long time ago. And it was like some, there was some discourse online about if trans women could get periods or not. And I was like, well, obviously they can't. Duh. Um, so I was just watching the video. Uh yeah go just watching the video and i was like okay whatever what that's it that was an interesting discourse to see i didn't realize that that was even a debate that was going on okay whatever and so scrolled on it and then i'm being fed more and more content like that because the first video i saw was not inherently transphobic in any kind of way it was more so just like talking about like women biological women go through a life experience trans women go through a life experience they're different and that's okay you know what i'm saying and that's yep. basically what the premise of the video was. Um, but from there, they kept feeding me videos similar to that. But it would be just a little bit shadier or just a little bit less tolerant or just a little bit like different in the way that they framed it. And I could see myself slowly being sent down this little rabbit hole of believing that trans people are trying to erase women and yeah. blah 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 and like it, if somebody who is less in tune and aware of what's happening on social right, media might become an easier victim to that kind of very yeah. easily could just be like holy shit this is a problem now you're Trans right are trying to, you're like oh my god like what the fuck do you mean you yeah. get a period like, like getting mad about it you know what i mean yeah so i could and, and in that sense that is not an original thought for me i've never felt that i've never cared about that it's something mm-hmm. that was fed to me And I could see it trying to slowly push me into a specific feeling. Way of thinking, yeah. Exactly, a way of thinking. Because that's just like, that's not how I felt, you know? Yeah, which it is scary for sure. Like, And I I think we've talked about how there is a a version of TikTok in China, ByteDance, Mm -hmm. that like children are only allowed to watch like educational videos Mm -hmm. and like they're only allowed to be on there one hour a day but I was like so I mean it's like we it's 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 two-sided because it's like I do understand yeah TikTok could be fucking frying our fucking brains and it could be hugely powerful and weaponized for sure definitely whether or not they're doing that like is okay so if the u.s is like we're trying to ban tiktok so are you trying to be like china because in china censorship is rampant people Mm -hmm. don't have any control of the the, over the information that they consume yeah it's literally all tailored to the perfect citizen that what they want to have Mm -hmm. so what's the right answer it's tough it's definitely tough because i don't know I know that culturally, like, there are so many people who are reliant on TikTok for income now. Mm -hmm. Like, there are – there's a whole new birth of influencers who now make their living through that app. Yeah. Um, And I worry for them because, you know, like, when this OnlyFans stuff was going down, I remember people celebrating. They were, like, excited for OnlyFans to stop doing porn. They, like, wanted girls to, like, not be able to make money that way. And it's just so bizarre to me that people, like, operate that way. Mm -hmm. Like, I really genuinely, I want these people to have a safe place to upload their content and make their money and do their creative things. Like, that's totally as an artist, I want other artists to be able to do that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I guess I just don't really know. I don't think that banning TikTok is the answer. No, I don't. I think that we need to get on better fucking terms with China. 
that sounds like a better fix for a lot of things. Yeah, because honestly, all China, I mean, okay, like, let's be real. China, the Chinese Communist Party probably does want world domination. But in the meantime, they really just want money. And, and we have, have so it. much of it. And, and we, we have so, like, it's like, <laughs> there is so, there is enough money to go around, guys. <laughs> but then it's like, you know, I yeah, that's why, that's why neither you or I are in politics. Because, like, what the fuck? I would be smoking a J during Congress, like, well, hold on. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Why are we doing this? This Dude, doesn't I've feel been, right. I've been fucking dying at the, um at like the memes that are like okay you know the template that's like i'll have you turn your attention to the screen here for a short video have you seen those it's like a congresswoman and she's like i'll have you turn she's talking to the tiktok ceo oh, okay. i'll have you turn to the screen to watch a short video um whatever and so and then it's a video of him going you know like this like to watch the screen and then people will put like different like stupid yeah, ass whatever they want like, yeah, yeah yeah and the one that i saw was fucking it was the andy milanakis theme song so she's like, I'll oh, have you turn your attention to the screen over here for a quick video. And then it's I like, peas on the head, but don't call me a bee head. But don't call me a bee head. Bruce Lee's on my head, but don't call me a Lee head. Yeah, so um, I have been enjoying the jokes for sure. Yeah, definitely funny to make fun of the Greatly. people in Congress. 10 out of 10. Yeah. yeah. I, I've seen that drag queens do this to clap now. They're like this. Okay. I'm like, oh. Yeah, with our nails. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now. My little club. I'm going to be like, yes. Mine are trying really hard. <laughs> They're trying real hard. I'm missing a nail here. I went to Korean barbecue with Rajul the other night, and this was – this one popped off in a bizarre accident. I sat mm -hmm. on my hand, and like – it, it and then, then it was gone. Anyways, oh. but I had it super glued on, and when I sat down at the table, it was gone. Ugh. Hate that. And I was like, what the fuck? But actually, yeah. it was, I couldn't be that mad because um, this Korean barbecue place, I always go there. It's like the, the place that I go all the time. Yeah. And Raul, the manager, he knows me and Rajul now. And there was like an hour and a half wait and he sat us right away. <gasps> How yeah. sweet. Yeah, he He's like, just he sees keeping us now. the lights on in here. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I always tip really. I always tip at least 30%. I always tip really good there, too. Yeah, so, that's what they deserve. But they all split the tips, so I'm like... Oh, they pool? Yeah, but I mean, they must make pretty decent tipping. I don't know why but they it would say that. High. Those are high, um... Those are high, like, big bills. Mm, all you yeah. can eat? Not really. It's like $60 standard for two people. That's, yeah, I guess that, that would be with, like, no drinks. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. So. And then a bottle of soda. I mean, sixty dollars minimum. They, that's a that's a big bill for but a they restaurant. Give you, they give you free bottles of soju all the time. Like they give me free bottles all the time. They're like, hey, this one's on me. Yeah, they give you free bottles. Well, when I went to Rajul too. I three more. <laughs> At least no, they're like, let's get her started. Been, it's, it's been like different waiters who don't know me. I feel oh, like it's you know, okay. they're like it's just like because they do it at the other location too. Sometimes they'll be like, hey, this one's on me. I think they're just trying to get like a better tip. I don't Maybe know. Maybe they have like promo bottles. Like they uh, have yeah, like I don't know how it works. That's interesting. Well, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's... love free bottles of soju though. Yeah. That's funny. Well, I want to go to Korean barbecue, so next time. Oh my god, period. Yes. Yeah. Love that. Okay. I do have one more um. One more topic, and it's kind of a okay. funny one. I don't know if it's funny. Maybe it's really bad. And I, I don't think we have a, a fan question today, so. Gorgeous. All right. Yeah. Um, do you think it's wrong to tell someone to kill themselves? I think it's based on the for real. Um, yes, and, I do. Okay, but hear me out. What if they chopped no, off no, a bunch no, of baby no, no. heads and fed no, them to the lions? No, 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 no. What if they... Not Bomb, even that. I don't fucking... even care. I don't even care if you're actually a bad person. If you okay. a okay, if you are so mentally unwell that a comment is going to push you over the edge, get off the Stay internet, inside. A, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you sure. don't, don't fuck around, and you won't find out. Okay, that's a b. If you say something so heinous to me that I feel it's appropriate that the world would be better. If people didn't comment things like that, and so i.e. kill yourself, 
It is what it is. I mean, <laughs> you can use that phrase however you please. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I do. I do. I don't use that phrase. Oh, I, I use it. Because, like, as know. somebody who's actually been, like, literally suicidal and, like, deals with actual really deep mental health issues on a daily basis, um, I am not going around and starting little fires for myself but obviously you know i'm not everyone so maybe that's just how people act out and they just anyways fuck around and find out if somebody tells you to kill yourself because you're being a dick so be it i'm not saying you should kill yeah. yourself but i think you should just accept the comment and move on and not be like oh my god this is the i'm, I'm gonna do it now well, yeah. I mean, I think you know, I think that up. anybody should be uh, you're responsible for your own actions. So if you comment something awful on someone's post and they say something awful back to you, like deal Period. with it. You know what I hate about Instagram is f- people can say whatever the fuck they want. I know. To yeah. Yeah. But and the then minute as soon as I you respond, say something, yeah. the minute I respond, I'm like, uh, that was rude and you're a bitch. They're like, report it. Delete the account. <laughs> Over. Instagram is like you're right. Yes. Yes. She yes. deserves. She's gone. Or she's done. She was so mean to you. We're so sorry for her. We're so sorry. Please, we apologize on her behalf. Like somebody when literally. Like left, somebody left a comment calling me fat, and I responded in a video, and they they removed it for bullying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got a comment removed for saying kick rocks. I, there might have been some profanity in there. You know, I might have said kick rocks, bitch. But, like, yeah. My account has two things where it shows that they removed content. Like, two things. And mm-hmm. both of them are me calling my sister a bitch. Or a whore. Mm-hmm. Oh, I had something sister. from... Yeah. I had a, something from you. I'm, you're calling me a whore, I'm pretty sure. And it's on my profile. And they removed it. They deleted they it. They said no. For sure. No, no, no. Yeah. I remember I made a video <laughs> about that. And granny saying the n word, and I was calling her deleted. out. And it got removed for bullying. I was like, "Bro, you can't bully a racist. You can't bully There's a no racist such thing and as bullying a racist, especially a racist who's like doubling down on their ignorant right. behavior. Right? You know what I mean? Like this was after she went on a live stream and said it like eight more times when she was drunk, and she thought it was hilarious. Yeah. So yikes. yeah, yeah. Don't forget, <clears throat> Dad and Granny said the N word with her whole chest multiple times, multiple places, multiple live streams to multiple people. Mm-hmm. A black yeah. person was on her stream, like duetting, not duetting, like, but like it was like stream. a joint dual stream. And she and he would, yeah. It, it's it's absurd. It's absurd. This guy was her friend. Yeah. He was probably just trying to help her. He was trying to help her. I'm I'm not upset with him. I'm not upset with him or his behavior. It's not quite. I'm saying that's so sad. Like, he probably really was just trying to help her. Like, he was like, girl, chill the fuck out. Jesus. Oh, wow. What a fucking. It is the most wonderful experience to witness live. You muting your mic and screaming at the dogs. I literally like I it is <laughs> so enjoyable for me. Like I love it so much. So thank you for doing that. You'd think I'd have kids or something because the way I shriek at these Oh my people. god. I know. I need to like I was just talking about this recently because I fucking really yell at my dogs and I have zero plans <laughs> to yell at my children, my human children. I do not want to be I yelling mean. at them at all. So how do I and I'm like this right how do i like make sure that that doesn't happen right perfect no yelling (laughs) just straight to physical violence (laughs) immediately immediately (sighs) ah i have one more quick little thing i have one more quick little thing um i i don't like ai all right okay i don't that's what i'm starting off with but there. Uh, uh, Rajul posted something on his story and there was some kind of AI program that predicted a woman's breast cancer four years before it developed. Oh, wow. I mean, so I yeah, think like, oh, benefit is not inherently bad. Like there is a but lot of incredible so uses to you it. You know, we're, we're, we're detecting disease super early, but we're also making fake porn of celebrities. It's two different <laughs> two different bounds that i'm just uncomfortable with 
Yeah. There definitely like, the needs to be limits. Generate, that's the thing. Like, there have been people. There was this guy who was, like, some streamer. And he got caught watching AI porn of, of another other streamer, people right? that he streamed. Yes, of other people mm-hmm. that he streams with. And, like, I can't imagine how violated I would feel if I didn't already make porn, you know? I already do that. Yeah. So I'm like, what's the big deal? But I can yeah, think back no. and, and realize, like, it yeah, would feel like yeah. almost like having nudes exposed, you know? It's, like, extremely dehumanizing totally. and very violating if it's not done with your consent. You know what I mean? And that's the Absolutely. biggest thing about, about sex work is consent. Um, For sure. So making these these AI-generated porn things with – real people who aren't consenting consenting yeah is very <clears throat> scary and hugely problematic to me but also Absolutely. we're saving boobies you know what i mean and lives oh like it's it's two 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 edges of yeah, a sword i hear you yeah i hear you like that's pretty fucking yeah and that's pretty fucking disgusting Yes. Um, and also, like, dude, chat GPT, I don't know if you've used it for anything, but that it's not like a fucking, the, the text one. So what is it's, that? Dude, it's like a fucking AI robot thingy that you can tell it to, it can fucking scrub the internet for information. Like, what the fuck? you can tell it. Okay, like, let me just give you a real life example. When we were trying to find a Las Vegas license holder for Cirrus, mm-hmm. we could type into chat GPT, give me the license number, holder name, and address of every person who got a consumption lounge license in Las Vegas. And it puts together a list of all that information. So- is it as long I as it's could, public information, or are they also access? As long as it can be, it can, as, no, I don't think it's accessing private information. I think it's like okay. you can, so yeah, like, like something that would, that the government has released, or more or less something yeah, that's like on the books, or, or it is on a Wikipedia page somewhere, okay, or okay, okay. is on someone's Instagram somewhere. There's a record or, of it somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Um, right, but um, it just kind of accelerates that like process like i could also write tell it like write me a response email to a um company owner that is trying to promote whatever product on my page but i don't want to do it and then like it writes an email and you can be like right now write it in a nicer tone or you can say now write it in a more firm tone or write it in an angry tone. Like, Bro, yeah, it's that's pretty so crazy. crazy Cause now teachers are dealing with students. That's what I was going to say. So AI to write yeah. their papers, which like after a while of using it, like I haven't even used it in a few weeks because like after a little while, like you can tell yeah. that it's like, yeah, like it's like the, the way it's that like it works. Version. It's a robot. Yeah. It's yeah, a robot. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's going to do the same thing like that. It like, you know, it's going to do what it knows how to do. Mm -hmm. Um, but it definitely is like interesting. And like for people that work in like legislation, like using a tool like that, that can go through, you know, a hundred pages of a law, like, and pull out all of the relevant information and be mostly trusted to be able to do that. Like for people like that, I'm like, that's, that's gotta be useful. Yeah. I I can see huge usefulness. AI is dangerous. But yeah, it's very dangerous. Fucking dangerous. It very it feels like we're tr- we're treading on some very thin ice here. Yeah. You know, Terminator, yeah. all of these things. I robot you know vibes. Yeah. Vibes. Yeah, totally. All right. Well, let's do you want to take a rip before we close it out? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Cheers. Cheers. sweet well thank you thank you guys thanks for tuning in yeah if you enjoyed this podcast please remember to share it with your friends and if if you don't i will uh i believe i said i'm gonna sign a peace treaty for everyone in the world so maybe don't share it 
yeah, so I can get on that. better <laughs> if you. <laughs> Thanks, I was laughing y'all. when I said that because it was so incoherent and discombobulated and I didn't really, it was like just a word vomit out of my mouth. I didn't know what I was saying before I said it. Yeah. So after it totally. came out of my mouth, I was like, oh, that doesn't make sense. Who would want that? Yeah. Probably. So maybe we all take this episode off of smoking <laughs> and we'll see how Magdisel does with the peace treaty with the entire world. Thank you all for your participation. <laughs> uh, okay. yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.